YouTubers, subscribers, and friends, Malcolm, welcome to that, 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 folks. Welcome to my channel. I can't even talk today. I'm so tired. So I got up at 6 o'clock a.m. this morning. It is 6.40. I've been waiting on Larry to show up. This beautiful moon in the west. Larry just left. He came here. He was so fast, man. He was here five minutes and took off. As you can see, we got rained on last night, and it's a good thing that I put that rain gutter up because it did its job perfectly and kept rain from going into my door there. And I'm glad I didn't wait on Larry to do that. Otherwise, I'd be having another project fixing the water damage over there. Um, although it didn't rain really, really hard, it rained enough to where the rain was flowing off the that uh, gazebo pretty good. All the other areas it was coming off and I definitely need to get a downspout because it makes a lot of noise hitting that wood. But uh, yeah, I mean it didn't rain storm hard although it did, if you follow me on Instagram, thunderstorms, severe thunderstorm warnings went all the way around us and we caught the outskirts of it. Um, I don't know what's going on with Larry. I, I, I'm disappointed in Larry because he was supposed to work today and we're supposed to do this today so he showed up for five minutes to tell my wife he didn't want to talk to me tell my wife that uh, oh another job came up what do you mean another job came up we we made this job schedule this job for today four days ago and now you're gonna tell me another job came up and then just kicked me to the curb these other clients that he has don't pay him so I, I don't I told my wife I don't understand why he continues to do work for these women who don't pay him and I'm paying him and I'm paying him full freaking price you know he's gonna charge me three hundred dollars to do this job and this freaking rain gutter and do some work on my back door and I pay him that's what I'm I told my wife I'm pissed off at Larry screw Larry that's it I'll do this job myself and save myself 300 bucks. Look, I got some broken branches from the storm we got last night. So, I'm going to, I have to go to town and give me a concrete drill bit because I don't have a concrete drill bit. And uh, I watched a couple of videos on how to attach wood to concrete and you need a concrete drill bit. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm sick and tired of getting the material and it being in my van. I need my van for other stuff. And then Larry told me we're going to do a job on a certain day. And it, man, I'm just tired of his broken promises. I don't care if he's married to my mom or not. I just, uh, my mom, if my mom asked me, I'll just tell I'm tired. I'm tired of Larry promised me things on certain days and not doing it. Running off with these women, doing a job for these women that don't pay him. My mom's fed up with these women also. So I don't know what the deal is going on with that. But, uh, yeah, I got to. I got I got to get this job done because my wife is harping on me like we gotta get this done and uh, yeah we have to get it done I gotta get this stuff out of my van so here's the other thing that uh, I've been I wanted my wife to talk to Larry about is this door right here I, this is the third door knob I put on this thing this door doesn't shut this is the way it was when I bought this house See? And my wife has to come out here and slam it and slam it and slam it and slam it. And it just, it doesn't, it doesn't latch. Even if you pull it like that. And she has a really hard time. So instead of building the overhang over the sliding glass door, I told her, let's ask Larry if he can do this instead. And I've taken this off and try and shut it and it still doesn't shut. I've put the door on without this on. This is what holds this, and it still doesn't shut. The only way that you can shut this, I show my wife, which she doesn't listen because she's still trying. Oh, I can slam it. I said, no, you can't. You have to shut it like this. You have to open this window, and you have to pull it from here, and see? It's a metal door. I've hated this door. I hate this door as much as I hate the front door. Because it's got this doggy door here that somebody put, like, I didn't do this. Somebody else did this. But, then I have my security lock up there, but, look at, 
Brownie wants a treat. Good, Amanda. Because I usually, every time I come in this window, she gets a treat. Come on. Here. Come on, girl. Scared of the camera. Come on. I'm working on this door handle. Now it shuts. I fixed it. What I did is I took off uh, this, which was right here. I think that and this, I changed the screws. The screws used to stick out a little bit. I guess it was hitting on this. It wasn't keeping it from shutting. And then I removed this also. Then two of these. I just yanked that sucker out and I took these bolts that were just like this, screws, here. So I cut off this blocking the door from shutting. I mean, you used to have to slam it four or five times. Now, it closes perfectly the first try. Push on the door, it doesn't open. I figured that out myself. I took the whole door knob completely off. Now I can lock it. And it works. Look, I got my silicone. This stuff, I like this gorilla. And got my Velcro right here. And I got the drill. That's a, the screws are a quarter inch. So I got this. It says 3 16 for use with the quarter inch uh, Tapcon anchor. So that's what I got. And then I, I got me some of these Nurdle gloves. These are like 10 bucks, nine something. I never tried these before. These ones are black. Ah, so I made me a turkey sandwich. Just turkey, mayonnaise, that's it. Some Lay's potato chips, a watermelon buy. I had somebody ask me if I'm sponsored by buy. No, I'm not. I just love this drink because uh, it's only got five, um, six carbohydrates and one gram of sugar, uh, a retinol, a re e resveratrol, however you say it. I don't know. Uh, it's only five grams and that does not spike my sugar so that you know, being diabetic this is a great drink to have to drink other than just water because I do drink a lot of water and to uh, for Isaiah who watches my videos he's uh, loves when I do the snaps and when I forget to do them he calls me out on them so there you go Isaiah there's your snap because this is delicious This is the worst concrete drill bit I have ever seen in my life. I have to go to this mark on my drill bit to be deep enough for the screw to go in. And that's like another inch. My battery's already dying. Okay, I finally got three holes drilled. And one thing I realized, drilling concrete with the battery power drilled is no bueno. It takes a long time. You got to drill in, pull it out, drill in, pull it out, drill in, pull it out. But I got three going now. So well, here's what I found out about these uh, Tapcon concrete block and brick screws anchors. They're garbage. I drill the holes even deeper than what these screws will go in, and they they go in, and they hold the board there. But once you go like that, they wiggle, and then just the board falls out. So these either suck or they got to go in deeper than what they're already going in. Or I got to try some other kind of screw because this isn't working. Maybe if I countersink it, it might work. I don't know, but it's just, it, I don't know, it just doesn't tighten up in the hole. So what I'm trying to do is make the hole bigger so I can countersink the screw, but. My drill burned out. It doesn't work at all. It's got a full charge on it too. Don't know what happened. I haven't had it that long. There we go. Oh, I think it's on its way out. So I'm going back to Lowe's. I'm going to take this drill back. See if they'll give me a return or exchange or something. I don't know man. Between the heat and the concrete. It's 95 degrees. I don't know. I, I might need an electric drill instead of a battery drill. And I gotta hurry up too. My kids, it's one o'clock, my kids get up at 2.30. Stupid thing right there, it won't stay down. 
That was a six dollars waste of money. Velcro. The glue does not last here in Arizona. The heat and glue just don't get along here in Arizona heat. I get all the way to here to Lowe's. I got to rush. It's already 1.35. I can get back my, before my kids get out of school, 2.30. I get up there. I want to return it. I said, I need to return this drill. It doesn't work anymore. She's like, well, you got your a receipt. I said, I have my Lowe's card. She goes, oh, you can't. You have to have a receipt. And I was like, oh, you know what? I had the receipt, but I forgot it, and I forgot my wallet. My wallet is at home. Uh, it, for, it's just not meant to, for me to work on this thing today. Because everything and anything could go wrong today is going wrong for me. And on top of that, the freaking humidity is kicking my ass. Now I gotta rush home to get in time for my kids. Hopefully I don't get pulled over because I don't have my wallet or license or anything with me. Alright, I'm back home. Who knew that drilling concrete was going to be so tough the problem is see I got this hole right here that's how much it's drilled in and this one they're about the same but this one is not as deep almost that's what about two inches the problem is I got the wood I put the screws in all three but and then it looked like it was on there, but when you wiggled it side to side, it wants to come off. So then I tried to countersink it, and it didn't work. So you got an inch and a half of wood here, and then you got whatever this is to here. That's two inches. Let's measure it. So that would be inch and a half and two is three and a half inches. So I'm definitely going to need longer screws and what I got already. I think I got two and a quarter. Yeah, see that's like two inches. So I think I definitely need a longer screw because this this screw just ain't gonna work. Let's see. Hey. Alright here's the length of the screw. Alright here's the hole. So we got about this much about an inch and a half of screw going into the concrete that's why it's not holding you, you got about that much into the concrete it's definitely got to be a much longer screw because it's not going to work either that or I gotta figure out some other type of uh, anchor screw to get alright back to Lowe's it's $70 later I have a Lowe's like rewards card and they say you can use that whenever you can't find a receipt or something. I tried to use that earlier and they, they wouldn't let me use it. So I got an electric drill. Screw the, the battery powered stuff. This is a hammer drill. So if this doesn't drill the holes, man, I don't know what to say. But uh, today at Lowe's they're giving 10% if you use your Lowe's credit card instead of 5% off, they're giving 10% off. I got longer ones, three and a quarter, and I got a longer drill bit so I can drill longer holes, deeper holes. So hopefully this will work. I just got home, let's try these longer screws. These are definitely, definitely much longer. I should have got the long ones to begin with. Let's see if we can get this first board on. That's exactly what I needed. And it's not wiggling back and forth at all. So what did I learn from this today? Go with your gut feeling. I was gonna get the long ones to begin with, but then I was like, ah, this is only a two inch board. I could get the smaller ones. Longer is definitely better. And get a better drill. I haven't, I haven't drilled this yet. I haven't tried to drill any holes yet, but battery power drills suck for extreme drilling I've been dropping stuff all day dropping stuff spilling stuff I tell you this Sun just drains me today man it's just so powerful the Sun I'm gonna try 
drilling with the new drill over here, the second one. The reason I've put it up one block is because I have to blow up this carport every day. And if I put it all the way down to the ground, what's going to happen when I blow it up, I'm going to get a buildup of garbage there. Plus, I want any rain that gets on the carport ever, you know, to be able to go under freely. So, that's why. Let me hook up this new drill so I can get the, these holes drilled now. This is definitely the drill you need. I got to set it on a hammer setting. So much easier and faster. So I got two up. It goes so much easier when you got the right tools. This drill bit works excellent. This one is freaking garbage. I got the wood drill bit. I marked up where I want to drill the holes in the wood. And then I'll show you how I get it lined up on there. I measure on this stick how far, how deep I have to go in. And each hole is deep enough. Then I get that wood and I stick it into the middle one and I hold it up on here so the holes will line up so I could drill the screws in. All right, got all four up and it's amazing what can be accomplished when you got the right tools. This thing took me like 20 minutes to do all four of these with that hammer drill. Let that be a lesson. You want to do concrete, you got to have a hammer drill. All right, it's 620. It's been a long day. There's no rain. Check out them clouds, man. That looks cool. I am wore out. This heat and humidity really whooped my butt today. Well, I got the privacy thing done even after burning up a drill today. Having to go to town three different times because I kept forgetting my wallet, credit cards, stuff like that. But here it is. There's the privacy fence. Saved myself $300. Larry was going to charge me $300 to do this. And uh, he was supposed to do it today. And he came by this morning and said, oh, another job popped up. I won't be able to do this today. Maybe sometime next week. And I said to my wife, I don't think so. I'm not carrying this stuff around in my van for another week or whatever. Another broken promise. So I said, I can finish it myself. Looks like a giant container, but looks really clean. It blocks out a lot of the sun, too. It wasn't too hard to put up once I had the right drill. Because trying to drill... And this concrete with a battery drill. People will probably do this for a living, probably laughing. I'm a rookie. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is not a how-to, but this is how I do it. And I learned in the process. This looks, looks really, really good. And uh, you can't see my car is parked in there too well. The only problem is my wife was saying that you probably have a hard time getting in and out of the car. Nah, I got plenty of room. Did I lock my door? Let's see. Yeah, I locked it. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember anything today. I don't know what is going on with me today. But let's take a look from uh, the front door. This drill, I actually like this drill. This drill is pretty cool, pretty powerful. Yep, looks pretty good. I have to say for a rookie. Will I drill in concrete again? Probably not. But uh, my wife loves it. Man, that traffic is loud today. Well, that's going to be it for me today. There's another project down and out. I got to go and take a shower. And uh, if you like these kind of videos, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, don't cost you anything. It's free. And like always, thank you for taking time to watch my videos and leave comments. Man, that's a lot of white. It's going to get some getting used to but that's my time <laughs>